I'm going to require you to do several things with your phone. This goes along with what I'm talking about. SEO, of course, we all know what that means, search engine optimization. We know who Google is because they're trying to take over the world if they haven't done so already. So we all, we all know that's all integrated together. Build your brand. If you have a brand, raise your hand. Good. Everybody's hand should be up because everybody has a brand. Does everybody have a name? That's your brand. Everybody have a business? If you do have a business, that's your brand. Okay, anybody have social media? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Okay, so you're projecting your brand, whether it's your name or your business. Anybody here a solopreneur? Good, how about an entrepreneur? How about a herpreneur? If you're a young lady or seasoned lady, you're a herpreneur. Because you're always hustling and working. Herpreneur. Like an entrepreneur, herpreneur. How about a Peepreneur. <laughs> but if you look at the title, you're going to market your social media awesomeness. Raise your hand if you're awesome. Everybody's hand should be up. Nobody's hand should be down. Because you're awesome in something. Something that you do is awesome. So we're going to change that awesomeness from within you to social media. So as we go through this, I always tell my kids at school, kindergarten and fifth, they are all awesome. They are all fantastic. They're all wonderful. These are several pictures of what I do in the community, as far as WordCamp, technology, teaching, and STEAM. But one of the important parts is right in the middle, myself and my girlfriend, because we travel to WordCamps all over. We've been to Calgary, we've been to Costa Rica, obviously we're here, it's the awesome WordCamp. Jacksonville, uh, we've been to Atlanta, so we travel around a lot to attend and to meet awesome people such as yourselves. And the primary reason is to share information that we've learned from other work camps. And the information that we receive, we like to share it with other people to build up your awesomeness. So it's like kind of giving them back to the community. So some of the pictures starting to the left. Who is this? That's me. That's a concept from one of the first graders that drew me. Okay, that was their idea about me. I also volunteer for TEDx, Florida State College in Jacksonville. I help with their social media. Social media for your church. I help my church with their social media. At the end, who shield is that? Captain Captain, what brand is that from? Marvel. Marvel. So we understand the symbology of different brands. So your brand is you, but also your logo. So never go cheap on your logo. Because when you put stuff on the internet, does it ever go away? No, it's always there. Because somebody eventually is going to copy it to their computer or to their phone. And they may bring it up later. Oh, you change your logo, you change your brand. So don't confuse them. If you're going to have a logo, put the money out to professionally have your logo done the right way so that you're comfortable with it. And up at the top, obviously, education. Aida and I are also um, four bloggers. So we attend four events, and we blog about the family events that they have and that they sponsor. Now, why did I bring that up? Because it's all engagement in the community. It's things that we love to do. So I am encouraging you, at the end of this work camp and others, find what your passion is and share your passion with others. So you're building your brand. You're building the concept that work camps are fun. Your engagement is fun. Having a business is fun, even though you have a lot of challenges. So when you look up here, think about this information. I love NPR because they share some valuable information. And every once in a while, I have an NPR moment. Raise your hand if you ever had an NPR moment. Awesome. So one of the things is 50 million users. How long did it take this to happen? I remember when I was little television, I'm going to date myself at 12 o'clock on the dot. The TV would go, Ooh, and you have that symbol up here in the sound. And that meant it's time to go to bed on the weekends because TV is off. Okay, so it's done. Also, how long did it take 50 million users for? Uh, who do we have up here? Television. Okay, and from TV, the internet. So who was faster in this case? Who's faster when you look at that? The internet. Because the internet is global access. And I try to teach my students and when I go to conferences and speak to have a global perspective of the world. 
and be inclusive and recognize the diversity that the internet provides. Because sometimes we forget about that. We're in our local area, we're networking with people that we know, that talk like us, that look like us, that think like us, but you have to remember the world is so diverse you never know if you're going to miss the opportunity of meeting somebody next to you from another state, from another country that you can collaborate with. And it's always great to collaborate as opposed to compete. Because when you collaborate, you both win. You know, you spread your, your brand. You empower your brand. So it's very important that you learn how to collaborate. So find your tribe. Who is in your tribe? Who can you connect to that's different than you? Because you share the same passion. All of us are in here because we share a passion, one, of an open source community where we can come together and sit together in peace and calm and intelligence and passion to get as much information as we can. Because the young lady that came before me, some of this information about graphics I did not understand. But now I have to go back to my old blogs and make sure I have my tags correct for all my images. The other part is globally, like I just talked about. Think globally and be authentic in what you're doing. Don't copy other people. Why would you copy somebody else? And like I tell my kids at school, and I reference that, raise your hand if you've ever seen anybody that looks just like you. Raise your hand. Okay? Because the cool thing is, from all the billions of people in the world, there is only one you. So never be embarrassed about who you are and what you do because there is only one of you. And I emphasize that because you are the director, the developer, the innovator of your brand, what you want to do. You have your name. Now there are several thousand William Jacksons, but I'm unique because I'm the only one that does what I do. And whatever I do every day, I'm the only one that does it. Same with you. You're the only one. So be cool about your brand, promote your brand, and promote what you're doing. Use social media to show your awesomeness. Because like I said, everybody here is awesome with or about something. Now I'm going to ask a question. This is a test. Who can tell me what the acronym STEAM represents? What is STEAM? Science, technology, engineering, and art. Ah, very good. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Now, I have a prop, a prop in my pocket. What is this? An eye. Okay. Remember, somebody's eye is always looking at you. Who can catch in here? Somebody's hand should have All right. So if I take this eye, young man right here, and I toss it to you, would you be able to catch it? So I'll toss it to you. He kept his eye on the eye. Give him a hand. Right. So if it was a ball, since I teach PE, I would say he kept his eye on the ball. But that's just as good. Remember, somebody's eye is always on you. You never know who's watching you. So you have to be careful of the image that you project on your brand out in the community. Now, why you should attend work camp. So I'm not going to stand up here and give you an analogy or give you some data or give you some, some statistics. But I am going to tell you to ask Aida, because she gave an awesome presentation this morning. Aida, can you stand up real quick? She's doing something right. So she gave a presentation why you should come to work camp and the value you get out of work camp and what you're learning. She's going to be in the happiness bar later on because she can give it basic foundational explanation why you should be here and what you should get out of it. Now, I do that for two things. One, because she's my girlfriend, I love her. But two, because you should be able to network amongst each other and share information. If you know someone has some content, make sure you share it with that person. The things that you learn, you share with others. Why keep it to you? Because we're all here to share. Facebook in one year, how many users did it have? That amount of knowledge can help you build your brand and take it to places that you never knew that you could go before. Now, I'm in my 50s, so I'm not scared to talk to someone in their 20s and 30s because I can share information with them, but I can also get information from them. 
And I'm also smart enough to let one day they, be, they may be a customer or an employee. So sometimes it's good to get out of your box of comfort to meet other people, greet other people, and share information. The right brand commands. Strengthen your brand to command attention. If you're in business, you have to get people's attention. Who you are, what services you provide, what can you do for that person? What problem can you solve? Creating the right brand and strategically, you have to be strategic about what you're doing. Marketing is important, but you may not have to use all the social media platforms in the world, but you pick the ones that are most effective for you. But it also takes you sitting down and being strategic and planning what you need to do to be successful. And we all have some level of patience in here, right? I have a lot of patience because I went to kindergarten and first grade and trying to line them up in the line is like herding cats. You may have heard that before. But you have to be real careful and strategic about what you're doing and where your information goes. Brand is just a perception. But what type of perception are you creating with your brand? So I'm going to give you a homework assignment. This is your homework assignment. If you have kids, grandkids, nephews, or nieces, your homework assignment is to ask them what their perception is of your business or what you're trying to accomplish in the business world or your profession and ask them to be honest. Because you know, a lot of kids, they don't have a filter at all. They'll just say what comes off the top of their head. And that gives you an idea of you may be creating one type of perception but that may not be the perception that other people are perceiving that you're trying to project. So either through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is, what are you using to project your brand and what are you doing that is correct or incorrect? It's always good to find out what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And lastly, never forget that people, again, are watching you. And I always like to tell my kids, when I'm walking into Walmart, I have to be very careful of how I behave and how I act as a professional educator because I never know who's watching me, whether it's a principal, another teacher, a student, or a parent, because one little slip up could destroy my brain and my reputation. So it's very important that you have the perception in your mind. Yes, you have your personal life. Yes, you have your business life. But in this day and age of technology, it is all combined now and you have to be very careful. And thank you for watching this presentation and being involved. And I hope I provided you with some good information. Thank you.